Hello, I'm Srilata, Chief Dietitian, Medicover Hospitals, Madhapur. Today, uh, we will try to understand the nutritional significance of sorrel leaves, commonly called as gongura or gogo. This has a great nutritional significance. It is basically very low in calorie and has at least 1.3 grams of protein. Usually vegetables do not have protein but this particular green leafy vegetable has 1.3 grams of protein. It has a very negligible amounts of fat in it and it has loads of soluble fiber and insoluble fiber. Coming to the uh, vitamins and minerals, it is uh, very rich in beta carotene, a potent antioxidant. We have two varieties of gogo leaves or gongura leaves. Basically the red variety has more of beta carotene that is approximately 5365 micrograms of beta carotene and the green variety has around 4400 micrograms of beta carotene. Coming to B complex vitamins, it has got loads of B complex vitamins like biotin, niacin, riboflavin, B9 folate is an excellent source in this. It has around 20 micrograms of uh, B9 vitamin which is nothing but a folate. It also have trace elements of cyanocobalamin and it is very rich in vitamin C and antioxidant again which is called as ascorbic acid. This particular green leafy vegetable gogu also has lots of minerals especially it is very low in sodium and very high in potassium hence it is really very good for hypertensive patients. It has good amounts of phosphorus, it has good amounts of magnesium and it is rich in zinc and selenium. Zinc again is a very good antioxidant and is important for various biological process in our body. Selenium is again an important antioxidant so this is also rich in selenium. These are the nutritional significance of it. So basically in terms of nutrition what exactly it is going to do our body. So this improves the digestion. People who are sick let's say from any illness who are recovering in a convalescence period. So if you give them gongora chutney freshly prepared or gongora rice they tend to digest it easily and it will be of very good taste for them. So because of the multiple drugs administered in the treatment, patients lose their taste. So gongora adds to the taste and it waters the mouth and aids in digestion. It helps in secreting good amounts of gastric juices. It is rich in iron. Around 8 milligrams of iron is present in the green color gogo leaves and 10 milligrams in the red color gogo leaves. So it treats anemia and also it lowers the risk of anemia. If you look at the younger female population and pregnant women, they are very vulnerable group. So try to incorporate in the form of dal, chutneys or in the form of fried rice or in any combination because that is rich in all the B complex vitamins, vitamin A and C. Hence it is very useful for the vulnerable population. So it is rich in fiber, so relieves from constipation. It is having loads of antioxidants, so it can be a potent antioxidant even in fighting the uh, cancer. So it can be called as an anti-carcinogenic also. It is good for the eyesight for pediatric to geriatric population and it is improving the digestion process and it also improves the skin health because of its vitamin A content. So overall it reduces the cholesterol, relieves the constipation, it is good for eyesight, it is good for skin health, it cures and treats anemia and it also helps in weight reduction. So it gives a cooling effect to the body in uh, summers. So gogo leaves are really nutritious for health, can be taken at least two to three times in moderate to high amounts in our diet. Thank you.